What's up, everybody? I hope everybody finds themselves good, healthy, and uh, most importantly, in, uh, in the times that uh, our TVs and our sources of entertainment, quote unquote enter entertainment, are, uh, are leading us into some very, um, a, a very weird state of mind sometimes, right? If you can get, if you're the type of person that gets a little caught up on uh, what goes on through your TV or what goes on through your social media, uh, I'll tell you straight up, I don't, I, I, I get a lot of this from, from friends, uh, from just brothers and sisters uh, in Christ that uh, simply God's, God always finds a way to, to keep his, uh, his kids informed. So the decision making can always lead to the best as long as you do it according to his will. And at least from everything that I've been seeing thus far and reading about this entire situation, I'm not going to dive into the details as to a lot of uh, information that you, you can find on your own about uh, how true uh, all this that is, uh, is, is going on um, and the reaction and, and what's happening, what's going to happen. See, that's why you have to be in a, in a place where you're, you're rooted very strongly where you can walk the uh you can walk a path without anything obstructing your view and that's why you have to be in in christ there's no simple way of putting it you can call me religious you can call me whatever label you want to put on that whatever but when you get to go when you walk in faith when you walk in faith that this entire experience is temporary that the only kingdom you should be trying to fight for is the kingdom that is not here it's not of this earth and if you're not preparing for the one thing for sure that is to come for you you're not preparing at all what you should be preparing for making your bed for is that next stage and that's something you know for a fact you know that at some point your your body is going to deteriorate and you're no longer going to have this experience here so when people are i'm, I'm looking at things like people trying to spread a good message and you can tell they're good people because they're they're against the violence that's that's being shown on on your televisions and, and you're reading about. Uh, they're against any sort of oppression, right? They're against any sort of um, force anything by any other being upon anybody else, right? Where it's it's uh, live and let live, right? Which is a, a good a good starting point for for lack of a better phrase, right? Because if you don't know how to how to live how can you let live so you have to have a foundation on somewhat of your uh, your 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 your, ba your like your base operating system right so like mine is i, I you kind of like your worldview right so your, your your worldview if it's you know the yolo worldview you're not going to have very much um you're, you're gonna feel like you don't have a lot of purpose, right? Because if you think that uh, you popped up in this experience and this is it, and you know that after this, there's nothing else, that you only live once and there's nothing after this is the only thing that comes. I'll be honest, that's a, to me, that's a pretty sad perspective, you know? Um, I've been so rooted in faith and just having faith alone in a higher power and in a very good power that lets you know the wicked ways of this world that we're living in and you can actually see that and measure that to a certain extent uh, it just gives more and more credibility to uh, a lot of a lot of scripture a lot of uh jesus christ's uh, sayings and a lot of his sayings um you know we're not talking about your, your prosperity gospels or that you need to um, pray a certain amount of times a day no i'm talking about 
his words, the words in red that are, are written in, in a book called the Bible. And if you haven't read those words, he gives you a lot of uh, a lot of what your base operating system should be. And the way he gives it to you is uh, in a way which is for those who are really seeking to better themselves, to embed themselves to a higher purpose. And so that's why a lot of what he says comes in parables. Because if our minds, we can't fully understand how they work. But when you, for example, when I read parables, when I read his words in parables, and then he explains them, it resonates a lot more than what it would just him saying, kind of commanding you how to live. Because... He's giving you a choice at the same time. He gives you that freedom to choose whether that resonates and that makes sense and you're going to do and work and carry your cross and sacrifice to start living that way or if you're going to get strong along by other men um, here on this plane as to how to live, how to take care of yourself, telling you what life is all about, telling you what you need to do with your life. One of the things that I shared with uh, one of my friends over the weekend, one of my brothers, is because you, you can, you know, I let him ramble a little bit and you can tell that this guy's got a good heart, man. This guy I was talking to has has a heart of gold. But he's, he's missing what a lot of people that are really good people and have a some great intentions are missing. And that's the the way, the complete way. So a lot of these people are walking about 80% of what we consider to be the path. And I'm not saying that I'm walking 100% of it either, but I'm conscious of that. And I'm trying to do my best to, every time I feel like I'm getting off path, to like, hmm, get myself right back on there, like force myself to get back on there. Um, and it really does wonders in terms of just, you feel how much your, your program mind hates that. And you can just feel how much ego and pride still lives uh, subconsciously within you. But I was talking to this guy and you could tell that he was right there, right along walking that, that what I call like 70, 75% of the path. And uh, it just led me to tell him I just re responded to to what he was saying about how he would uh, how he loves his sister and nobody could if someone hurt his sister like he would just he'd kill them and all this and I could tell this was coming from from a good place a place of love not a place of, of hate and I just told him like look man I'll say this one of the most powerful things that you can master that anybody can master is being able to forgive somebody or something right on the spot. Because imagine if the majority of us had that ability, if we were able to forgive right on the spot as soon as we felt wrong about anything, no matter how big or how small. Think about that for a second, right? Think about a world that would be very forgiving, right? And I'm telling you, no matter what, but again, there's a certain, there are certain steps you have to walk in, you have to get to, to be able to, to even work on yourself in that way, to be able to be conscious enough to forgive things right on the spot. Because you have to have a base of being able to, to number one, see that there's nothing worth hanging on to here, meaning there's nothing worth fighting for here. It's all gone. It's all gonna be gone, so it's all gone. There's nothing hanging on to here. There is no kingdom for us to fight for here. And everything you're seeing is perpetuating the complete opposite. That there are such bad people that are going to come after the good people and the good people have to stand up and start fighting back. When you understand what God's commandment was, thou shalt not kill. It doesn't say thou shalt not kill unless evil comes after you. 
or it doesn't say thou shalt not kill until you feel like you're put in the corner and you're only defending yourself. No. And it says thou shalt not kill, period. Okay? So that's where your faith and how faithful you are in Christ comes into play. Because if you, you can say you're faithful and you can say you're walking his way. But again, that's honoring him with, with, your, with your lips and not with your heart. Because he says it right there in the Bible too that there's many that will say, that there's many that will honor him with his lips, but, but their hearts are far from him. So when you start to gain an understanding of his word and what he means by just his way of life and the commandments he gave you, the basic instructions of how to operate, operate here, that thou shalt not kill no matter what. Not for a flag, not for a country, not to protect your mom, not to protect... It doesn't say unless you need to protect your mom. It doesn't say thou shalt not kill unless you need to protect your daughter. Yes, is that an innate reaction that we all have and that he built us with? Absolutely. Yes. Can he forgive us for actually killing somebody? Yes. But if you're conscious enough and you're faithful enough to where you're presented in that moment, which only he'll know, you and him will know, where you are in the position where you feel it is justly right to kill somebody, like standing up for a certain way of life or protecting or defending a certain way of life. Ask yourself if that's really walking in faith. Because when he was getting shackled and when he got caught in the Bible by um, when he when he basically right before he got crucified when one of his disciples decided to pull out a sword and defend him he told him to put that away because the good old saying came from there you live by the sword you die by the sword it's the same thing with us you fight fire with fire, you're going to end up in the fire. You have to be conscious enough to realize that this has always been an endless cycle. Good versus evil, evil versus good, dark versus light, light versus dark. It just depends where you're standing. Because you think the bad people look at themselves as bad people? They're looking at the good people as the bad people. And you think the good people look at themselves as the bad people? No. So you need to realize, once you come to that realization, you realize that the only way to break the cycle, the only way to initiate change is by not only changing yourself, but knowing what and how to change yourself. What to change yourself by and how to do that. That's why there is a base that he gave us and it's being attacked and you can see it being attacked. You can call yourself, you're not religious, you don't believe in that, you don't believe in God, you don't believe in... Ask yourself then, what do you believe in? And what is your base operating system? Do you, you honestly think that doing good... Let me rephrase that. You honestly think that doing what you consider to be good, your definition of good might not be the, the same definition for anybody else. So what's, what's the default line for everybody? What's the grading scale for everybody? Right? Because there is one thing for sure that we all have in common is that no one lives forever. So knowing that this is all temporary, what are you really fighting for? Those are the type of fundamental questions you should be asking yourselves instead of all these very material-like questions and, being, and pointing fingers about whose fault it is, it's the elites, it's the Rothschilds, it's, uh, it's Bill Gates' fault. Start taking a look at yourself. Start, don't even start with the people around you. Start with yourself before you start pointing towards others. Because look what happens when you point. There's one finger pointing at somebody and there's three pointing at you. I heard that today and I was like, whoa, that is so true. Everything in your experience is exactly that. It's in, in your experience. So when you hurt or you propagate pain out here, no matter the cause, no matter the just cause in your mind, 
no matter no matter the cause in your mind because you are, you are propagating this experience from within and the only easy way to tell if you haven't been able to tell is that close your eyes the world goes open your eyes and the world is there there is no world without you and there is no you without the world that's the realm we live in being able to have that buffer to know we exist but there is no, there is no separating that so there is no separating you that's watching this or me making this video. There is no separation of that. It's all one thing. So when you go out and you stand up, you quote you what you call stand up, and you end up hurting others. Know that you're hurting a part of yourself. You're hurting a much bigger you than what you think you are. That's the type of knowledge that a lot of these people have been holding back from you guys is the basic uh, pillars of existence that you come to understand through a lot of parables and a lot of tribulations because you're just not born with this knowledge the only one born with this knowledge is Jesus Christ himself that, that's why he was the perfect lamb that's why he was God incarnate that's why he was the one who was without sin was because he manifested in flesh the all-knowing manifested in flesh to bring us this message so we can one day all have the same joy standing beside him. My people, look for deeper meaning in your experience. When you start searching within, once you start looking at yourself and you realize and you can come to the truth and foundation of you have no idea how you ended up here. But everything you know has been taught to you from sources out here. You start looking more within. And you start looking at the little things in life. Start becoming more conscious of the little things that you do every day. Every day. From the moment you wake up to the first moment you hit the ground from your bed. That's where a lot of the appreciation for the little things start coming in because you're, you're more conscious of the little things. But this is all written anyways, man. If you read the Bible, you know why? Because it happened then. It's not like they were prophesizing exactly what's going on. Is that that was exactly what was going on back when that book was written. You know why? Because it's a cycle and it keeps happening that book is about how to break that cycle the book is about how to break that cycle you want to end this once and for all you want to feel you want to lift that burden off of your consciousness off of your experience like you call your life you want to lift that monkey you want to get that monkey off your back start reading that book specifically those words in red Start reading the Bible because it breaks the cycle. The perpetual cycle that all of us have been programmed to think it's the only way. It's the reason why he says that he's the way, the truth, and the life that no one gets to God but by him. Think about that. It's in the book. I love you guys. Please look for deeper meaning in your life. In your experience, start with you. Start looking at yourself before you point at others. And if you have a hard time doing that, just remember when you point at somebody, you got three fingers pointing at you. I love you guys and uh, be blessed.